Many of the vehicles and weapons in the new Twisted Metal are built on the classic risk-reward game design philosophy. With the fast speeds of the game and the varied ways the many attacks function, untrained players will never get the most out of each weapon and vehicle. But a master Twisted Metal player learns just how far to push each and every attack, risking it all for the reward of being the battlefield's deadliest player. The shotgun can provide a powerful punch to an unsuspecting opponent. The shotgun is at its most effective in close quarters combat. Get too far from your opponent and you'll find the shotgun loses a lot of its effectiveness. For a devastating point-blank attack, fire the shotgun at your opponent's windshield from the closest range possible. The Magnum pistol has six single shots in its clip. It has zero homing but is the most powerful sidearm in the game. The Swarmer missile is a high-risk, high-reward weapon. It's good for one-on-one -on -one confrontations. Holding the R2 button will charge the Swarmer missile, allowing you to fire more missiles, doing more damage. Be careful. If you hold the charge too long, you will overcharge and lose the weapon. However, if you release the R2 at the last possible moment before overcharge, you can unleash mega damage. Using the sniper rifle takes time and patience, but when used correctly, no enemy is safe. The sniper's vast range allows you to be deadly from any part of the map. The laser sight will let you know who your next victim is going to be. When someone is looking down the sights at you, Better make a decision quick. Use your shield or some defensive driving to make sure you're not someone else's prey. Easy handling and solid armor makes Roadkill a car to be reckoned with. The alternate special for Roadkill is a three-level wave of destruction that will obliterate your enemies. For level one, press and hold fire. Let go during this phase and you will fire the minigun. During level one, when the charge turns red, let go of the fire button and quickly press it again for a level two charge. Release the fire button during level two and let loose a minigun missile combo. If you let the charge meter turn red during level two, let go of and quickly press fire again. You will gain level three of the attack. When you reach the peak of level three, let go of the fire button and unleash a minigun blood missile barrage of death. Reaver may be the weakest character in the game, but his agility and special weapons makes him one of the deadliest. Reaper may have less hit points than other vehicles, but can be hard to target due to size and maneuverability. Use this ability to set up quick, powerful strikes from Reaper's special and alternate special weapons. Reaper's special weapon, the Chainsaw, is a solid ordinance with homing capabilities. The secret to the Chainsaw comes when you pop a wheelie, your character will drag the chainsaw across the ground, causing it to catch fire. This is the flame saw, the most lethal weapon in the game. Combining the flame saw with an EMP blast can create an attack so devastating that no adversary will be able to overcome it. If you want to wipe out rodents, you need to call vermin. While not that fast or maneuverable, vermin more than makes up for it with heavy armor a strong ram attack, and versatile special weapons. Vermin's primary special is the Rat Rocket. This weapon's fire delay is lower than any other vehicles in the game, allowing each Rat Rocket to be fired quickly in succession. As you can see, a great Twisted Metal player will recognize the game is about much more than explosions, destruction, and fast cars. Under the hood, the new Twisted Metal is a beast that only the most dedicated, talented, and skilled players will ever fully master. 
best of luck. To learn more about these and other vehicles and weapons, go to TwistedMetal.com.